I think the impact on, of uh, climate change on the Ganges are so multiple. And unfortunately, no one's looking. Rajasthan doesn't have the Ganga, but they have life. And one of my dream projects is to have people from the Ganga Basin see how you live in Rajasthan, harvesting every drop of water through rooftop harvesting, making your bundis and your kundis and doing all of that little care for water that allows you to have water in a desert. But if we do not prepare, and unfortunately the governments are definitely not preparing, and not allowing therefore the people to become aware of what are the consequences, if we do not prepare, we will have civil war. People will fight. People are already, I mean, I've seen so many cases where people are fighting and killing them, each other over tankers of water. In, uh, in Rajasthan, five people were shot dead because they were farmers and wanted to retain the water for their fields. And the government, with the ADB project, wanted to take it to the cities because tourism is big in Rajasthan. Five-star hotels want more water, want running taps, want swimming pools, want bath taps, if you please. Um, all of that means more water for the big cities like Ajmer, like Jaipur. And five people were shot dead three years ago and we, uh, we worked with this movement uh, in Tonk uh, on the Banas Dam. So you're already seeing water wars. But with climate change, you will see Darfur on a Ganges scale. You know, Darfur, Lake Chad, look at the population, it's nothing. But look how long that conflict has continued. And it's between settled agriculturists and pastoralists because of the disappearance of water in Lake Chad. We'll have politicians manipulating society more. Uh, in, instead of saying, let's prepare to reduce our water use, let's do agriculture with millets. Let's bring back the millets with 250 millimeter and have the nutrition. Let's do water harvesting. We can deal with this catastrophe. But if they don't address that because money doesn't come out of it, survival does. What they go start, go going to start to do is this, this region, we call it the Ganga, Ganga Jamuna Sanskriti the culture of the Ganga and Yamuna. And the culture of the Ganga and Yamuna is also specified in terms of the beautiful mix of the Hindu-Muslim cultures as it has emerged in this area. The typical creations, whether it be in textiles or it be in architecture, that has come out of the mix of an Islamic civilization and a Hindu civilization. And this is where it's all been born. But these are also the places where communal riots can grow very quickly. And if you have a nasty pop politician who says, oh, you're not getting water because that community took it, before you know it, you'll have killings. I feel very deeply down to my last cell in my brain and in my body that if the Ganga dies, this amazing civilization that has lasted so long will die. That's why it's so important to keep her alive.